To build your embankment, you have to know which soil you have in your farm. For that classification, depends on the size of the particles. You have here three main types of soil, sand, silt, and clay. Sand is the biggest one with more than 15 micrometers. Silt is between 50 micrometers and 2 micrometers. And you have clay. Clay is smaller, is smaller than 2 micrometers. It's the best one because it's the one with the lowest permeability. When you're building a dam, there are some failure modes that need to be considered once you don't want a dam to fail. Uh, the most common ones are the piping failure, that's when the water that percolates through the dam carries with it some soil particles, which can lead to the formation of channels that once they grow bigger and bigger, they can wash the dam out. Uh, there's also the overtopping failure, that's when there's some uh, disturbance in the water that can cause waves that pass over the dam and also can wash it out. There's also the shear failure when part of the dam slides because of lack of shear forces. And the bearing failure when the foundation is not strong enough to resist the water pressure. Studying the properties of the soil, using uh, filters in the case of piping failure and using overtopping protection in the case of overtopping are some of the ways to avoid those failures. Another important thing that most people forget because it doesn't affect directly the performance of the dam is blending the dam into the environment. 
it's important to make it done with the surroundings maybe grow some grass some flowers something that will make it look nicer but it doesn't affect its performance the first failure mode we're going to look at is piping piping occurs at the underneath of the dam which causes the dam to slip and erosion to happen this essentially leads to overtopping as can be seen here and essentially means the failure of the dam. Now I'm going to talk about the do or don't place. It's some kind of precaution that you have to take for maintaining integrity of your dam. First, keep your drainage system clean and working. You may have some water get through your dam because your soil is not 100% impermeable. So we have a good season to take off this water. Six months you should look for failures in the dam. If some of these failures happen in the dam, you should contact the engineer for repair it before collapse. While the construction of the dam secure the area, be the one your 